Hey there YouTube, it's Math Boy. Welcome to my third and final video from my trip to Triple Play Vintage out in Cuyahoga Falls, Ohio, uh, back on December 10th, 2022. This video we're going to show you the dollar 1960s baseball cards I bought. I got 99 of them. These were kind of like high numbers and high numbers, so these were two and these were three. But I went on a TTM fuel mission. They a purchase somebody's vintage baseball card collection and they just had all these 1960s baseball cards the dollar cards were nicer condition there's three for a dollar ones which i need to go and hit those hard but uh yeah let me just go ahead and show you what i got ttm fuel decent looking ttm fuel like seriously so these are organized by set but i will just do them by alphabetical here jackie branch oh my gosh those cards are so beautiful 1960s so nice but i just recently learned he signs shock estrada ronnie hansen oh this is gonna be good stuff why not why not joe morgan oh that would look so cool get those signed there's the other one to go with the jc martin card there joe shipley and norm siebert Russ Snyder. So 1960 and 1961 really had some nice cards, but this was all for TTM purposes. And I'm sure there's a little bit of PC in there, but that would look so great with some ink on it. I love that baseball held right there. Never sent to him, but that'll change. A dollar a piece, and I tried to pick out the nicest conditioned ones. So, that, that's so great. Yeah, I had no cards of him, but I got some now. <laughs> Same with Jackie Brandt. I had none of his. But Daly, Benny Daniels. I don't think I ever sent that card to get signed by him, surprisingly. Johnny Edwards, Jake Gibbs. That's PC. We got Harvey Haddix there. Joe J. That'd be a cool one to get signed. Bob Perky was a pirate. Hobie Landreth again. There's Jim Perry. 63s I mean, there were some pretty sets back then so i just stocked up on guys that i had none of all them guys are signers that would look so these are going to look so good when they're signed heck by the time this video gets shown which who knows when now will be oh that one's got some wax on it didn't see that first yeah who knows when this video is going to get shown i would imagine quite a few of them We'll be back by then, <laughs> and that's all right. It's good stuff. He does not sign. He's not with us, but I have a redemption, a tops buyback card. That's now I got the original. He doesn't sign, but that's for my PC. Dick Nen signs. Wow, nice card. That's PC. Yeah, if you've never been to Triple Play Vintage, I mean, it is just like the nicest place. Uh, that's Scott from Reindeer Studios. That's his LCS. Didn't buy many from the 65. Well, there wasn't any Steve Blast rookies. Brr. There's Dave Dowling rookie. A buck a piece. So it, it's, it's adding up. It's definitely, you know, it's definitely adding up. Got the 66. That's a pretty cool pose right there. I mean, I had no Jake Gibbs cards. I got them now. I mean, I want to send the rookie cards like that. This one looks so good. Please bear with me. I got a pretty good cold going on here. Campaign ass signs. Dowling again. Holtzman, whom, according to Michael Myers, just has a really sloppy autograph. <laughs> I can't laugh. I can't laugh, but I'm laughing. Oh, it hurts to laugh. Oh, there's the zipper car. There's the zipper. Is zipper. Oh, my goodness. Demon Shore, Steven. I can't help it. <laughs> Oh, uh, I haven't seen many Gene Alleys come back lately. I got one out to him right now. Hasn't come back. Dave Baldwin, rookie. Ah, uh, yeah. There's and there Holtzman, and there's the Holtzman checklist. So that'd be great to get them signed. There's the. <laughs> oh God.
gosh, that hurts. Redick was a former pirate. Roar side said Stoneman. Oh my goodness. Oh, we're on to the 69 set already. Bummer. So I might go back there and plug away at some Pirates team sets and start working on but we'll see. Bergmeier, Campanis, Dave Campbell signs, Bill Davis signs, Hyatt signs, Melton, George Mitterwald, Bart Shirley, Bob, this Bob Skinner. I want him to sign the back of it. Yep. Phil Stoneman. That, I believe that's his actual rookie card. A buck a piece. So, 99... 1960s top baseball cards a dollar each you saw their condition there higher number cards well these ones were actually two dollars each there's the norm miller doug grader i'd like to get both of them to sign that again there's the jack hyatt card again i don't know about him but i'll look into all that and then there were some higher numbered ones i bought 11 of these these are three dollars but still i mean i'll get them signed they're in such good shape it's like you look at these and you look at some of the ones that are beat up to greed. <laughs> Just keep going. Just keep going. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, you look at these compared to the three, four dollar bins. Duffy, all three of these guys signed. And Mr. Santorini. I also bought a couple packs of legit penny sleeves. They were a dollar packs. So those are actually penny sleeves because I've been calling them soft sleeves for a while. And they had used top loaders. I bought the box, too. Used top loaders. 200, 200, 20, 20. I bought 440, 12 for a dollar, used top holders, top loaders. So that's 22 bucks there. So, oh my gosh, thanks for checking out my videos here. This was my third trip to Triple Play Vintage back on December 10th. I did get to meet Scott for a little bit there. That was, he's such a, such a good guy. Um, let me know in the comments below what was your favorite. I really would appreciate if you would like, comment, subscribe to my channel. I upload three videos a week, a TTM video on Monday, and an autograph and or trading card video on Wednesdays and Saturdays. Take care, everybody.